Well, it's not even 3 a.m. I think I had four or five hours sleep, so I guess that's it. Anyway, I think my lesson today is about patience. Um, God. You know, Sunday, I went to that kid's ball game, and um, I've been to, went to some last year, but, um, went to the ball game. Then after the ball game, the daughter, or the person I went with, she says, oh, my dad is so worried about you. He said you were sick, and, um, oh, what else did she say? Oh, she said, the way we look at it in our culture, it's dark and light. And she says, when you're sick, that's because the devil has done something to you because you've done something. All right, there went my red flag right there. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know where she was going with that. And then the next thing she wanted to do, and he did, wanted to pray for me right there on that ball field before we went anywhere else. You know, I don't have anything. I, there's nothing wrong with prayer. There's nothing wrong with prayer. Collectively, I, I believe that that is something that uh, uh, works beyond my comprehension. But So, you know, I let them pray for me. Then I asked her, I said, uh, are you aware that I'm published by a Christian publishing company? She wasn't. Yeah. You know, and I just started getting so irate and not trying to show it. So on the way back, I videotaped him. I said, could you please explain to me where you get this that, um, you know, illness is of the devil and you get sick because you've done something with the devil. Well, he couldn't explain about children being sick, you know, and what the devil had to do with that. Um, I did make one video, and I was asking him about, about uh, bioweapons and where he thought that came from. He thought that came from the devil. All right. Well, that was the only thing we agreed on. But see, I am already knew, I had to realize, I'm dealing with some baby Christians bless their hearts. I can't get angry and mad at that because they are taking the fundamental steps to develop their faith. You know, um, and I just have to accept that and bite my tongue. Um, you know, I guess not everybody was reading at age four and got baptized when they were seven and grew up that way. But, um, it still blows my mind. I'm over being mad. I was so mad on Sunday. <laughs> a couple of y'all know how mad I was because y'all heard from me. Mm. Anyway, yesterday he calls, and I said, "Yeah." I said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the million dollar question that I ask everybody that starts bringing up scripture or spirituality, and I know they don't know what they're talking about." So I said, how many books are in the Bible? Mm-hmm. It comes back with 62. I said, well, that's better than one guy told me. He told me four books in the Bible a few years ago. Mm-hmm. So this morning, I'm sitting here thinking, uh, I'm going to deal with this situation. Because the same person I went to the ball game with has had a problems keeping his hands to himself for quite a while now. And at one point last year, he came by. I said, you know what? If my father walked by here right now, I said, you would probably lose both of your hands. Just leave it at that. And then the other day, I said uh, something about keeping his hands to himself. I told him, I said, call the Hopi Police Department and talk to the chief of police and ask what happened to the medicine man Roosevelt up at Old Arabi at Third Mesa when he decided he'd touch me in places that he wasn't supposed to. And then don't forget to ask about Sergeant Nokomis. He's the one that took the report, who was also dead. 
So, <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to put things in a Corinthian perspective for him this morning. Yeah, and I'll have it ready for the next time when I see him. You know, I was on that set with a bunch of Danae women the other day, and we were talking about all kinds of things. And uh, I said, yeah, I got this Navajo jeweler guy been hitting on me for a long time. And they said, well, where's your jewelry? What jewelry? Well, geez, I didn't know that's a given protocol. If you date a jeweler, he's supposed to give you a whole bunch of jewelry before you even go out with him. So I reminded him of that Sunday. He asked me what I wanted. So I got to draw something up here and uh, see if I can get him to make it. Anyway, he's VAT, so he's he's totally out of the picture. I told him that a few years ago. Hey, you're vaxxed. Ain't no way I'd touch a vaccinated man whatsoever. Or let a vaccinated man touch me. Yep. And he ain't touched me anyway. He don't have a piece of paper to do that. Okay. Well, I got to get something done here. I, uh, I'm drinking this. Some baby, I'm taking baby aspirin. And I'm fixing them. Mega dose on vitamin C. Like one of my doctors told me to do. But, uh, gosh, I was outside last week from like 4.30 a.m. to... 8 o'clock at night, it was cold, I got a head cold, and then I remembered yesterday, well, gee, I worked uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday with smoke, um, normally when I worked in Los Angeles, we'd get a pay bump for working around smoke, but, um, yeah, they had to have these fake fires going, so they had some charcoal, they used copal, which, you know, is kind of like frankincense, but I was around that smoke, breathing that in for hours a day. And then um, all the dust storm and dust. I don't know how many showers I've had since Friday night. But yesterday I had a, a Q-tip on alcohol. And I'm still pulling red dust and dirt out of my ears from all that wind blowing. So um, I got to text last or email last night to be at work this morning and yeah i told him no way um yeah i don't want to make other people sick as well but so i'm sitting this week out i'm selling my car today i've kind of been looking around for another one but um definitely i have my car sold they're picking it up around noon today anyway yep yeah, i paid uh what this last car I paid $500 for it almost four years ago. It lasted me three years and 11 months, and I'm getting $310 back. So for around $200, I drove a car for almost four years. And I went to Idlewild, California twice. I've been to Georgia, other side of Atlanta. I've been to Nebraska. I've been to Colorado a few times. So, uh, I think I got my money's worth. Cheers.